You've seen the VAC 20A inkwell, you've seen the 50 milliliter inkwell, and now there's a new gun in town. It is the Twisby pipe. The pipe comes in this uh, little envelope here, and if we crack that open, here we go. We see we get some instructions and the pipe itself. Let's move that to one side. Now, according to the instructions here, we can fill spring-loaded converter, like the one you get with the swipe. You can also fill a piston converter, like the one you get with the swipe. We can fill international standard converters, and we can also fill the diamond line of Twisby fountain pens as well. So this little gadget allows you to grab the ink from the bottle and also from the bottom of the bottle and, uh, and insert the pipe onto a converter or onto a diamond and keep the mess away from the nib. Let's take it out of its, uh, out of its card here that holds it. Take little, little plastic widgets off the back and the front of the pipe also. We can do that. There we go. Let's take an international standard cartridge. And as you can see, I can plug that on there. How awesome. Get that into the bottle. Suck up the ink. Okay, let's prove that it works with these guys as well. Now, interestingly enough, Twisby's um, cartridge, uh, Twisby's converters with the swipe are an international standard as well. As you know, and sure enough, the piston converter fits nicely there. Throw that one to one side. And the spring converter here, sure enough, fits. Pump up the ink just by pressing the, uh, the plunger in there. And one final try. Let's take a look at one of the diamond. This is the, uh, this is the Navy. Diamond 580, and these guys, you can actually unscrew the nib section. Okay, and you can use the um, you can use the ink bottles as well as we've seen before, and you can fit that on there. Give it a little bit of a press, and sure enough, now you can use the diamond plunging mechanism also. Not get the nib section all mucky. That's awesome. Twisby have done it again with the pipe.